I will use uh, my cheapest watercolor set that I have. It's like a $4 watercolor set and you'll be surprised what kind of amazing art you can do with it. I'm starting with my background and I will clear wash it first. Clear washing means I am washing the area that I want to paint with clear water first. And I don't even really worry too much about going over my lines into the tree because my sky is going to be blue and the green of the canopy will cover up that blue. First, I'm testing out my colors, of course, as usual on my test paper. So I put down water first and add my blue. With this cheaper watercolor set, I don't really have many options of blue. So I'm picking my lightest blue right now and I let it wash into my wet background and let it flow and do its own thing a little bit. I think I'm going to add some clouds down here. I kind of imagine having white fluffy clouds just above the horizon line so I I am uh, putting a little bit of cloud shapes in here but I want to work with the flow of the watercolors as well so down here I'm painting straight lines another way of adding clouds when you use watercolors is using just coloring it all in with blue and then using a paper towel or a tissue and dab out, like dry out, take out the paint and create clouds that way. If you've seen my tutorial about how to paint kites in the sky, that's where I show that technique. Now that I look at my blue sky, I feel like I wanna add a little bit of purple into the sky, especially since my water, so the horizon line is actually the line of an ocean or lake. So the water will be down there, also blue colors, and therefore I'm going to add some purple just to distinguish the colors a little bit. Again, since I have a small or the cheap set of watercolors, I am very limited regarding different shades of colors. So I have to compromise, but I think purple clouds here are pretty cool too. Next I'm going to paint my green grass hill with a very light green color. I will not clear wash this time, I'm just going to go directly with my paint on it and give it a base color. Very light and airy. Later on I will add layers of darker greens and also some brown patches. I'm probably going to add a few rocks and some grass as well. I noticed that I forgot to draw some blue patches into my tree. Those are just blue areas that you can look through. There's no green leaves anywhere. So you can see the sky through the branches and through some parts of the leaves. As soon as my sky is dry, I start painting my leaves. And again, I only have two green shades, so 
I'm picking the same green that I used for my grass. I decided to just color in all of the leaves the same color. And later on, I'm going to add some darker shades on top to create the illusion of three dimensionality. Next, I'm going to try and mix the color from my tree trunk and the browns I have in my set are just not satisfactory for me. They're not the browns I want. Um, so I'm mixing like a little yellow into my brown. I'm not liking it too much. Uh, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm adding some black next. That's more like it, but it's too dark. So I noticed there is a white in my set and Usually, every watercolor artist and watercolor teacher will not allow you to use any white or any black. That's like a big no-no for any watercolor art or artist. But again, since I am limited with my colors, I am just going to mix it in there. And that's actually the color I'm looking for. So I'm using my color palette here, my paper, as a mixing palette. And I pick up my paint from there to color in my tree trunk. Okay, it is time for my water here and I really don't want it to look the same as the sky. So I have to come up with a good color. I'm gonna test it out again. I don't have many blues. This is the blue I used in the sky. Let's see, I've got this, this color. Oh, this looks more like, this might be the right color. Sort of more turquoise teal color might be an option. I don't want it too dark though. Maybe there's a blue I have. Maybe I mix it with a darker blue. That could be an option. I'm going to clear wash my water area before I add my colors. I decided to use my darkest blue and just put a line of that dark blue on top, on, right underneath my horizon line. Let it flow downward into my water, into my wet pa paper. And now I'm going to add my teal color underneath. Oh, adding some more of that color and let it flow into each other. And on the bottom, I'm going to wash it out a bit and add some of that dark blue again that I have on top. dark line on top and a dark line on the bottom. Kind of like that. I noticed that I have a lot of water in that area, so I have little puddles and what I do, I just lift up my paper or my whole pad and let it run downwards. And meanwhile, I can work on the other side, clear wash it and then add my colors. <laughs> 